Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and this is another in our series about routers and switches. Today I want to talk to you about the difference between managed and unmanaged switches. And this is something you should know if you're a business owner or if you're just interested in IT, you should be paying attention to this. First of all, there are some things that are common to both. And remember in our last video, we talked about the difference between a hub and a switch, and I told you, never, never, never use a hub. It's a piece of junk. It's going to cause more problems in your network than it's worth. And today, you can get switches at a relatively inexpensive uh, models, especially if you're looking at five, ten outlets. It's pretty easy to get, and they're pretty cost-effective. Uh, but switches will definitely help you. They're going to make your bandwidth uh, better. They're going to give you a sense of security. They should give you a little more security than a hub is going to because of what they've done. So we want to talk about where managed and unmanaged switches are the same. And one way is in what's called spanning tree protocol. And what in the world is spanning tree protocol? Well, it's pretty simple. Okay, let's say you have three switches connected. And this is not unusual, even with small switches. And just about, ah, oh gosh, just about every switch I know about has this protocol in it. Um, and you connect all three together, right? Which you should, by the way, if you're an IT guy. You have redundant links. Sometimes there's more than one link between your, your switches. Well, what happens is, if you don't have spanning tree protocol, what happens is, if you've got a computer out here that sends a message to this computer out here, and that computer turns itself off just as the message is being sent, well, that message will start going all around and around and around. And what happens is it completely shuts down your network in no time at all. So um, that's a, a loop. So Spanning Tree Protocol wants to stop loops. And how it stops loops is these switches talk to themselves. And of course, the uh, the higher end switches, I think, do a better job at this than some of the lower end switches. And they talk to themselves. So what they will do is they'll say, you know, we can talk this way. We don't really need this link here. And so no matter what happens, there's a dead end. And when you talk about spanning tree, what you want to think about is a tree. You know, a leaf in a tree. There's only one route from the root system all the way to that leaf. So it's the same thing here. That's why they call it spanning tree protocol, that you can't go in all, you know, in all the directions at once and create a loop. And you've got to have that when you connect multiple switches together. And that's why I would recommend the higher end switches. Um, but let's talk about managed switches. What's the difference between a managed and unmanaged switch? Well, the difference is, is you can do a lot of programming in a switch, a lot of programming that can really help your network. It can add security. It can uh, shut down uh, certain ports that you don't want used. It can make sure that certain of those ports uh, can never be used for anything except for that one phone uh, or that one computer that's plugged into it. So it gives you a lot of other abilities. And it does, um, you can connect multiple lines together like this and treat them all as if they're just one circuit. There's a lot of things that can be done on managed switches. So if you're serious about networking, first of all, you're never going to have a hub. Secondly, you have to have managed switches. So the advantages of managed uh, switches uh, is just beyond its cost. And you know, I know a lot of IT guys out there, they just pull switches out of the box and just slide them into the rack and then plug into them and they think that's all they should have to do. Well, a managed switch can give you so many other advantages. Like I said, security. How about VLANs, virtual LANs, where you can set up different departments on, on different IP scenarios and um, control how they talk to each other. And I'm sure some people are saying, why do I want to control how people talk to each other? Do you really want your salesman to get into the accounting system? Or if someone breaks into the sales system, do you want them to also break into the accounting system? different levels of security for both. And they are just wonderful devices. I love switches. I love managed switches because you can do so much with them. Again, this is a wonderful idea here because you can increase your bandwidth. And, and these groups right here is called an ether channel. And it's a great idea. It works great with the bandwidth. And the nice thing about it is if you lose one of these circuits, the system doesn't need to reconfigure. Because remember, if you lost a circuit, let's say we lost that whole thing right here, 
Well, in this case, this one would have to take over. So these switches talk to each other and they do a wonderful job in doing that. This is wonderful, uh, intelligent pieces of equipment and you should have these in your network. Again, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com. Uh, please like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of CableSupply.com.